Let's do it. Oh man, it has been a minute since my last video. Look, I've been doing life. Like that's not just the name of the channel, it's kind of what I do. Anyways, we got some Mixter headphones here. These are the E9. Some of y'all have actually requested these, so that's good that I got them here on the channel. So let's go ahead and open these things up, man. But let me see if there's any details I want to catch before I tear this box up. 40 millimeter drivers, you can get about 33 feet worth of Bluetooth distance out of them. Uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, 30 hours of playtime without ANC and 24 hours with ANC. Oh yeah, these are ANC headphones. So it does say sensitivity 94 decibels. I don't know how much it's gonna block out. I guess that's what this video is about, right? So let's go ahead and tear this box up. Let me get into this cellophane real quick. Me just... <laughs> All right, got it. All right, let's put the beast up. Oh man, I can't be staying away this long. I didn't got rusty on opening packages, man. All right, <laughs> okay. Gotta get my groove back. Get out of here. Okay, so. Mm. You know I gotta smell it, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know I gotta do that smell test. Hold on, let me see. Okay, smells like new stuff. Okay, ooh, these are kind of pretty. Is this like a... Oh yeah, we got some scratching action going. Okay, and uh, let's just get them out of here. Well, before we do that, let's look see what we got in here. We got an airplane adapter, because they're noise canceling headphones and they want you to use them on your airplane ride. Then we got a micro USB um, charging cable here. Then we got a 3.5 to 3.5 thick auxiliary cable in case you want to listen to them plugged in. Look, I'm not plugging these things in. I'm not doing that test because these are wireless headphones. So you do that on your own time. So let's get into these. They are pretty, I give them that. So you do get this case and they get a seat belt in here. This is your enclosed seat belt. And this case is a semi hard shell, nothing too special about it. Just something to protect your gear while you're out there on the move. But let's get into these headphones. These are super lightweight, like super duper lightweight. It's almost like nothing. I wonder if there's any metal. Okay, so we got a stainless steel band up in here backed up by some plastic. Uh, that's about all the metal you're gonna see. But man, these things are mega light. Uh, they feel good to the touch. They don't feel cheap at all. Oh, they swivel in and out and up and down. Yep, up and down. So you can package these up any kind of way you want. Definitely over ear ear cups. These holes are huge. And I got some, it's just regular styrofoam in there. Nothing too fancy for the ear cups. Let's take a look around at some of this hardware. So we got your ANC switch right here. I'm guessing it goes on. Yep, it is on right now and then it is off. Now I used to be a big fan of the ANC switch uh, where you could just turn it on and off without the headphones being powered on. I used to be a fan of that because you could just turn it on whenever you got ready to. But sometimes you might forget, like once you've powered off your headphones, this is a two stage power off if you're listening to ANC. So you gotta power them off and then turn off the ANC. Sometimes when you're forgetful, you'll forget to turn that off and then your battery's draining, you don't even know it. So beware of that. On this side, we got that 3.5. And then on this ear cup, we got your power button. And then we got some big old, yeah, I like the buttons, man. I like big buttons that you can actually find. So you got your big uh, volume up and volume down. And this doubles as a, a forward and back track. And this is also a play and pause. Then you got an LED right there and your charging port. So without further ado, let me put these things on my head and see what the real deal is. Okay, so as far as comfort, they feel, they feel good. Feel nice and snug. I'm not experiencing too much uh, pressure as far as the clamping force but they they could use some opening up they they're kind of they're kind of snug they're, they're kind of snug let me see if i get some cabin pressure from this anc all right the anc is on and i can tell that i can hear the difference in my voice my voice kind of just goes out into the distance when you turn it on the power button is that kind of in the front bottom front so let's just power them on Okay, you got your raspy lady voice saying that you powered on. Quick pairing process. All right, we are connected. Okay, so I was listening to some old school 50. Let me see uh, 21 questions. Let me see how this plays out. Oh, wait a minute now. Check this volume. Okay, so the volume does match up on the phone, but man, I'm not getting a good sound out of this. Let's try a different song. The bass on that song was kind of nasty, man. Let's let's try something else. Cause you know I'm a bass head, and if the bass ain't thumping, then I'm just going to take these off my head. Let me see here. Mm, let's play some of this "Do You Mind" by DJ Khaled. Got some nice low bass notes in there. Okay, 
There we go. Solid. So as far as the sound, listening to hip hop sounds pretty good. Uh, the volume is not extremely high. Let me let me try some other uh, music genres. You know I like that Tim McGraw, Southern Girl. Here we go. Now I ain't saying it, man. Ladies don't know what they doing. All right, sing it, Tim. So as far as clarity goes, you do get some fairly decent balance in your mids and highs. These are not ear shattering highs or pristine mids or anything like that. Not audiophile quality, uh, but they're not muddy either. Now, as far as the bass, the bass is solid and mixed well with the mids and highs. Nothing really overpowers one or the other. So you could say they're balanced. So as far as music quality, I say you're doing all right if you're just jamming some tunes and you're on a strict budget. Now, these are ANC headphones, so I gotta see how much of the sound these things will block out so let me go ahead and put these on so i got two tests with the anc the first test is to see if they actually block out any noise second test is if they change the sound signature i.e ruin the sound signature when you flip on that switch so right now the anc is off and let me see it let me listen for something this is not the strongest anc in the world but let's just see how it affects the sound signature let's hit that play button oh it's up here Oh, oh, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Nice and slow, yeah. Kissing sweeter than Tupelo, honey. Okay, let me go to some hip hop real quick. Man, these sound really good with the ANC on. Okay, hold on, let me see, let me see. Ooh, let me listen to that T-Pain, buy you a drink. Ooh, 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 we in a band like, ooh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh snap, okay. So I gotta tell y'all, wait, I gotta go backwards in time and reevaluate what I said about the sound signature. So I said the sound was fine <laughs> when you had the ANC off. Uh, the, the Everything was pretty balanced. It wasn't necessarily the brightest highs and mids, but they weren't really muddy either and everything was balanced. As Soon as you flip on that ANC switch, everything gets a nice bright boost. The bass doesn't seem to change very much at all. I don't think it changed at all, to be honest with you. But the highs and mids became much more brighter, higher, and clearer. And it almost seems like I got a little volume boost in there too. That was weird. Okay, I've had headphones in here that have done similar, you know, when you turn on the ANC switch, but these perform very well as far as regular listening when you have on the ANC. So if I were gonna listen to them, I would always have on the ANC. It's just a must based off what I heard. That was good. Let me let me do that one more time. Let me see. Ooh, 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 we in a band like, ooh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, man. Everything is nice and strong, man. As far as the noise canceling, it's not the strongest in the world, but it does make these sound a lot better. And like I said, man, these are, you know, they, they don't feel cheap, even though they're like 98% plastic. And they look good too, man. A nice solid design, not like some super minimal branding. These look good, man. I dig these headphones. Look, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff, but I was very surprised by these headphones. I thought they were gonna suck, but they do not suck. These are good. So if you can find these at a good price, the price is down in the link in the description. And especially if you had a good time hanging out with me just now, you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one.